in this video we are going to discuss about second order system i already told you second order system is nothing but in the transfer function in the denominator polynomial the maximum value of s power must be 2 so then we can say that is a second order system if maximum s power is equivalent to 1 then that is equivalent to first order system then how we can say a system is second order system means in the transfer function of that given system in the denominator polynomial if you observe the maximum power of s is equivalent to 2 then we can say that is a second order system so the standard closed loop transfer function of second order system will take like this this is the general transfer function of the second order system so omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s so i am not able to write that zeta symbol clearly you just consider this as zeta so 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square so this will be the standard closed loop transfer function of the second order system and the block diagram basic block diagram of standard second order closed loop system will be like this the open loop gain in terms of second order system is omega n square divided by s into s plus zeta omega n if you consider the equation g by 1 plus g h then you are going to get this same so here feedback gain is 1 g is equivalent to this value h is equivalent to 1 if you applied g by 1 plus g h because you are having a negative unity feedback so if you applied the gain formula for that g by 1 plus g h where h equivalent to 1 and g is equivalent to this you are going to get the same so the basic transfer function of second order system will be like this where omega n is equivalent to undamped natural frequency and zeta is equivalent to damping ratio which is nothing but actual damping by critical damping so what is this actual damping and critical damping means if zeta is equivalent to 0 then the value is called as undamped system then that system is said to be undamped system so if 0 less than zeta less than 1 so the system will go to under damped system so the response of this system is said to be of the response of under damped system so zeta is equivalent to 1 if you consider zeta is equivalent to 1 then the system is critically damped system and if zeta is greater than 1 then that is over damped system now we will see what are that zeta values we will see now so here for that every time we need to consider the denominator polynomial i am going to consider my denominator polynomial the characteristic equation is s square plus 2 zeta omega n into s plus omega n square i am going to consider like this so here this the value multiplication factor here i am considering like a and the mul multiplication factor of second power of s that means second decreased power maximum power of s i am considering the multiplication factor a and this b and this is c constant as c now this is a second order polynomial equation for this if you want to get the roots the equation is you will get two roots so the equation is minus b plus r minus root of so here root of a square minus 4ac divided by b square minus 4ac by 2a so minus b plus r minus b square minus 4ac by 2a this is the characteristic equation we are having here so now this is equivalent to i'm just substituting minus b is nothing but minus 2 zeta omega n plus r minus root of so here b square is nothing but 2 zeta omega n whole square minus 4 into a is 1 for s square there is no multiplication factor you just consider like 1 into c means so this constant omega n square so 4 a c divided by 2 a 2 a means 2 into 1 divided by 2 you can say i am going to consider like this 2 2 will get cancelled i am going to get minus zeta omega n plus r minus and here if you observe 
2 omega n whole square is there. I am having omega n whole square at least you can see uh, here I can consider this as 2 omega n whole square can I consider like this here I am having 4 this 4 I can write like 2 square. So now onwards I will take this as 2 omega n whole square. So now here also I am having 2 omega n whole square. So in this root if I take common of 2 omega n whole square if I want to send it out that square will cancel. So I am going to get 2 omega n in the root so zeta square minus 1 will be there you can observe clearly. So I am just taking common of 2 omega 1 whole square from this root when I am sending out from the root the square is going to cancel and the remaining is zeta square minus 1 square or 1 divided by 2 divided by 2 means so here already I divided with 2 so here also if you want to divide it with 2 you are going to get this I am just cancelling with my denominator here I will get 2 omega n so that is why I am not taking effect of this divided by 2 this is the resultant equation uh, of your roots that means s1 s2 now I want to check the roots for this systems that means if you want to check your second order system as undamped system you need to consider zeta is equivalent to 0 for example your zeta is equivalent to 0 then what you are going to get so your roots s1 comma s2 is equivalent to if zeta equivalent to 0 this term will be 0 and coming to here if this is 0 you will get minus 1 here minus 1 I can consider like j square j square is equivalent to minus 1 when I taken out that j outside you are going to get j omega n. So here I am having plus or minus s1 is j omega n s2 is minus j omega n. So we can say when the second order system is undamped system then the roots are purely imaginary. So we will get purely imaginary roots purely imaginary roots roots are purely imaginary for the second order system when that is undamped system so here if you consider zeta is equivalent to 1 if you consider zeta is equivalent to 1 then you are going to get minus omega n plus r minus plus r minus so here omega n into so 1 square minus 1 you are going to get 0 so you are going to get your s1 comma s2 is equivalent to minus omega n you can see plus r minus omega n into root of 1 minus 1 means 0 root of 0 is equivalent to 0 0 into omega n it will be 0 so you are going to get minus omega n only only single value you are going to get so that means so for this critically damped system the roots are purely real purely real in which case you will get this roots means when for critically damped second order system the roots are so they will give uh, you are get questions like this for undamped second order system the roots are this is undamped second order system the roots are purely imaginary for un, uh, for critically damped second order system that means when we will say critically damped when zeta is equivalent to 1 for critically damped second order system the roots are purely real so next for example if you consider zeta less than and uh, less than 1 so in between if you consider if you consider like this then how you are going to get so your s1 s2 your s1 comma s2 is equivalent to so here I am considering like omega n plus r minus here I want to take common of minus here. So here if I want to take common of minus then I will get j here so if I take in common of minus means j square I can write so that j square by taking it out I will get j into omega n root of 
1 minus zeta square. I am going to get like this. So, this is equivalent to minus zeta omega n plus r minus j into omega d, where omega d is nothing but omega n root of 1 minus zeta square. So, in this case, in this case that means in the case of under damped second order system the roots are complex conjugates the roots are complex conjugates if, if you observe you will get your roots as complex conjugate to each other so minus zeta omega n plus j omega d is 1 minus zeta omega n minus j omega d is 1 if you consider complex conjugate of one one root you are going to get the other root so, in case of this, the roots are complex conjugate to one another. Coming to the final category, zeta is greater than 1. So, in this case, S1 comma S2 is equal to, so I am going to consider, why, why I consider zeta less, why I consider minus as common means, so here I am considering zeta less than 1. So that is why I want to write like, uh, write like this to get a positive value. So now S1 comma S2 is equivalent to whatever I am having here. So that I am going to get. So minus zeta omega n plus r minus. So omega n root of zeta square minus 1. So here definitely the roots are both real and the roots are complex. We will get complex root here. So, if I take common of that minus here, then I am going to get the complex roots here. So, this is about the valuation of roots in the second order system according to zeta value. This is about second order system. Generally, you need to keep in mind about second order system is this transfer function is very important. And this block diagram is very important with what is the open loop gain of second order system, basic second order system is this is open loop gain. This is the total transfer function. This equation is very, very important and this characteristic equation we are going to use in so many problems. And here where omega n is the undamped, undamped natural frequency and zeta is damping ratio according to this zeta we can estimate the system whether that is undamped, under damped or critically damped or over damped we can estimate here only. Here if you observe according to that according to that uh, zeta value we can estimate the roots, we can estimate the roots. So, here the roots are purely imaginary for undamped system for this system critically damped system purely real the roots are purely real and coming to under damped system the roots are complex conjugates and coming to here over damped system for this over damped system the roots are real but unequal those two are not equal here I am not taking common of j if I take in common of that j so here I am saying zeta is greater than 1. So, that is why I am not taking common of that minus 1. Here my zeta is less than 1. That is why I am taking common of uh, that minus. Here no need to take common of minus. Why? Because zeta itself is greater than 1. So, I am just keeping this like, uh, like, it, uh, like this only. And here if you observe there is no j value. So, we can say the roots are real but unequal those roots are not equal the magnitude of that roots are not equal. So, like this you can estimate the second order system in different ways.